September was an exciting time for new releases, and October hasn't disappointed us either. That's right, but November is coming right up with some awesome new games that'll provide some fun for the whole family. Let's check out some of our most anticipated games set to drop next month, starting with Just Dance 2020. This is ongoing theme of it's been so many years since. This entire month, I feel like. And we're not going to stop because it's been 10 years since the first Just Dance game was released. And the dance party just seems to keep getting better and better. Yeah, and Just Dance 2020 has some awesome songs. There's over 40 top tracks, such as God is a Woman by Ariana Grande and High Hopes by Panic at the Disco. And the party can go on for hours with songs for the whole family to enjoy. Now, I love those songs, but what about some of my favorites from the other games like Despacito or Beep Beep I'm a Sheep? Well, with the Just Dance Unlimited streaming service, you can add over 500 songs to dance to from previous Just Dance games. And they're gonna be adding new exclusive songs as well. And that's not all, it's for the whole family, right? So we have Kids Mode, it's back with eight new kid-friendly dances and additionally curated songs to help youngsters learn healthy movement. Yes, and co-op mode is available as well, so if you have some friends, you can get together and you can either play against each other or you can do some choreographed sweet dance moves together, which is so fun. And you won't have to have a PlayStation Move or a Connect for Just Dance 2020 either. You can use your smartphone to track your moves and up to six dancers can join in on the fun. Now, dance parties are definitely my thing, but so is throwing on a sword and shield once in a while. Let's move on to some RPG talk with the highly anticipated Pokemon Sword and Shield. Pokemon Sword and Shield are the next generation of Pokemon RPGs coming to the Nintendo Switch system, and the adventures will be set in Galar, an expansive region with scenery ranging from picturesque countryside to contemporary cities to forests and even snow-covered mountains. Your adventure will begin by choosing one of three starter Pokemon. Grookey, the grass-type chimp Pokemon, Score Bunny, the fire-type rabbit Pokemon, or Sobble, the water-type lizard Pokemon. I would think everyone has the same goal, right? That's to become the very best like no one ever was before, right? So in Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield, you want to go online and battle against other trainers in Battle Stadium. You have two modes, casual and ranked battles. Now casual is the please don't hurt my feelings mode, where you can kind of go in and get a feel for the game and maybe get your ante up and get some new techniques to help you out in rank mm -hmm. mode. Because that's really where you want to go where your wins and losses really, really matter to become the most powerful trainer in the world and hopefully not take 20 years to do it. That's right. But for those looking to immerse themselves in the adventure, there will be boutiques and hair salons along the way. They are back this time, so you can get a fresh haircut. There's a lot of clothes to choose from and even makeup, so you can make a statement while you're in Galar. Now, when you pre-order and pick up your copy of the Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield Double Pack, you'll get an exclusive double-sided wall banner while supplies last. Now I'm all for some customization. So up next, let's talk about Need for Speed Heat, the newest installment in the Need for Speed franchise where customization is king. You can get behind the wheel of some of the world's top performing vehicles, but the fun doesn't stop there. You can take your new rides to the shop to customize and tweak them to your heart's desire. And when you play this game, you wanna worry about three things right away. That's your bank, your rep, and your heat. Think of bank as your currency, and you have your daytime races, you know, the legal stuff. When you do that, you win, you get your in-game currency, and that's used for tuning your ride up. Now your rep is your actual player level, and that's earned nighttime events. You know, the little disreputable stuff you do <laughs> that you shouldn't be doing. Heath is a score multiplayer that's actually tied to your rep that's also active at night. So the more heat you have on you, the more 5-0, the more aggressive the cops are going to get. And the police will be a burden in free roam and during some events. They patrol Palm City regardless of the time of day. However, it's at nightfall that really brings out their most aggressive state. So the more heat you have, the more cops will come and the nastier their tactics get to bring you down. Need for Speed Heat supports 16 player servers. That's a lot of players. So keeping your world set to open, especially at night, that's gonna get crazy. Mm -hmm. Disasters. Now, don't forget, you can save yourself some money by trading in the games, systems, and tech you don't use anymore toward your purchase. It's about time for us to take a break, but GameStop TV will be right back after this. Hey everyone, thank you for continuing to watch these videos and hanging out with us. If you're liking and subscribing, great. If you haven't, please do so. And comment down below because I promise you we'll read them.